Hello everyone, it's Brad and this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and as well Cancer Rising a weekly tarot reading for February 10th to February, uh, February 4th, excuse me, to February 10th, uh, 2019. And uh, so I'm going to use the standard reader weight uh, tarot deck for that. And uh, now I'm going to shuffle that deck. And while I'm shuffling, reminding you once again that uh, this will be a general reading for Cancer Star Sign. And for that reason, uh, this general spread is going to resonate in a different level, uh, in a different way with every single different Cancer uh, in this planet. And so for that reason, uh, in this video, I will try here my best to uh, explain you the uh, meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But ultimately, at the end, uh, it kind of falls to you to align your personal situation with the cards and to uh, basically make sense of it, you know, uh, for maximum accuracy. Now, if you want me to do that for you, just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video, uh, then that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there uh, you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So cutting now the cards and let's see uh, what we have for you guys. Uh, the first card that is going to be the tower, which is the general topic of your week. Uh, then the second card that we do have, this is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. And that is the position uh, displaying the the bad things that you can do or the things that you can do which are to slow down your process. The third card that we do have, this is going to be the Sun card and that falls into position the things you can do to ex to um, further your process or to speed up your process, kind of like the positive approach that you can take in this week. And the last one, this is going to be uh, the King of Wands which is sitting on a position the final outcome. So uh, I will lay down my cards here and I'm going to go through them one by one. Uh, but just from a general out view, uh, outlook, rather overview of the cards, uh, it, do it does look like that many things are going to change throughout that week for you guys. And uh, uh, depends how you enter into the week. Uh, it is very important not to be uh, biased and premeditated of um, of your goals. I will say it that way. It kind of sound very, sounds very uh, drastic, but it, it, this is what's going to happen, all right? Something very drastic here. Uh, but uh, at the end, it does look like that it will end up in a very, very favorable uh, way, especially for those who are striving for a better career. And we're going to see that uh, in a minute. So the first card that you do have, um, that is going to be uh, the tower and that is the topic of your week. So what the tower really is, that is impending and uh, kind of like radical shift that happens in your life for one or another reason. Now, the tower does not say where that shift is going to uh, is going to manifest and is going to manifest in a different uh, in a different field for every single one of you. It could be as big as a, a relationship breakup or it could be as small as a, a trifle. It could be something like, uh, for example, you bought a new car and you're taking on a, a long trip and your car, it's um, it kind of breaks on the, in the middle of the road, all right? Uh, basically, it's something, what I'm trying to say here is that it is a, a shift, that radical shift that you will be unable to control. It comes suddenly, it comes uh, out of nowhere, it is a big surprise, and almost all of the time is accompanied with very, very unpleasant circumstances. But uh, the Tower card is about uh, transformation and ultimately in the long run it always has positive cleansing and healing effect upon one's life so for that reason uh, the worst you can do here just 
I don't even need it to see the other cards to tell you that the more you struggle against it or the more you try to sustain your tower because the tower, uh, I want to um, explain you a bit of the symbolism of the card. The tower itself represents uh, everything you build up until this very moment, all right? In, in a specific field. I'm not saying your entire life, but in a specific field. If the tower hits you into your career, then the tower represents everything you build up into your career, all right? And suddenly, a, a flash of insight, suddenly a, a bolt of energy, which is uh, considered as a, uh, a circumstances sent, sent from the universe and all gone, you know, all gone, all brought down. Everything falls into ruin. And in that specific, uh, in this specific moment, you do have a choice. You do have a choice to make, a couple of ways. You can either mourn and feel despondent of it, self pitying for it and uh, kind of like, uh, you know, uh, fall into a, a state of, uh, of limbo or you can pick up yourself together, pick up the pieces and rebuild it back again, but this time around to rebuild it in a, such a way that you allow growth to be provoked. Because why, um, why the tower hits people? That is a major arcana and it always comes around in one's life. The tower hits when you build up your field, like I said, it will hit you in a different field, every single different one of you, it will experience it in a different field. It hits you where you have built your situation so rock solid and so defined that it's, it, there is no more room to grow anymore. It's just you have built up walls everywhere and there is no more room to expand. And it is like a bubble and suddenly bursts. And now you need to rearrange that field, okay? So for that reason, uh, it is important not to struggle against it. So just to give you an ominous example here, you suddenly got fired from your job. You know, do not struggle against it. Do not appeal. Do not try to reestate your position and etc. etc. But instead, rebuild your career elsewhere. Very important. All right. And this is just I'm talking from a perspective of tarot. The accompanied card of the tower that is going to be the um, the temperance. And it does, it simply kind of consolidate that this was supposed to be because the temperance is the most natural way how things can happen. So whatever happened throughout or whatever is to happen to you throughout this week, it was the natural, the balanced, or it was the way how you can regain balance in your life. Yes, it happened through uh, unpleasant circumstances, all right? And that is most likely because you did have a chance to provoke that shift when the Fool's Journey was on the death card, all right? But you didn't. You tried to borrow its time. And as the Fool's Journey progresses, it goes to the Tower card and it, you can't borrow its time any longer. And it just breaks, all right? So uh, what I'm trying to say here is that you should not sob about it, but instead pick up yourself together and try to rebuild it in a, a different field. If that is a relationship, your relationship breaks, you know, rebuild it with a, a different person. You will have the chance to do so, all right? This isn't the end of the world. That's what I'm trying to say. The next card uh, that it is what you should not do here, I pretty much explained it, that is the Knight of Pentacles. And uh, in that specific follow-up, the Knight of Pentacles displays the feeling and the emotion that you think that everything is taken away from you. Everything that you have worked for is stripped off and you are left empty-handed. Therefore, you will never be able to achieve your goal. Uh, there is no point of, uh, of even living. Some of you which are very emotional even may fall into a uh, state where they will think that there is no point of uh, basically proceed with life any longer. It's because it, for some of you, it could be where you have the sense that you have lost everything. But that's not the case. This is the thing that you shouldn't do here, guys. Instead, uh, and this card it's itself points that you shouldn't uh, kind of like stick 
to uh, the established path, to the established road. As we saw with the tower card, it simply isn't working. And yet, uh, I am giving you these examples, but as I said, it could be as well a, a trifle that the tower hits you. It could be a, an argument you had with your husband or, or with your wife. And this argument, very, very unpleasant one, a, a rango that severely hurt each other, kind of brings down the uh, structure of the relationship and gives you the chance to rebuild that structure in a much more productive way for either of you, okay? So it doesn't have to be as well a, a breakup, but it could be. So uh, the night here points that you shouldn't, as I said, go with the already established path. Uh, this, this comes from the idea that the, this knight always wants what, uh, always knows what he wants, kind of like has that goal, all right? But as that, this impending radical shift comes around, your goal will differentiate. At the end of the week, your goal is going to be different from uh, the goal you have entered in the week, in the week with, all right? So you basically you shouldn't be stubborn and you should just take it easy, all right? And just leave things to unfold as they are supposed to, which uh, it is another confirmation with the next card, the Sun card. But here we do have um, what you should not do. And just to finalize my words, you shouldn't try to struggle against it. Just let it go and allow it to unfold naturally. And look at that, it is the Ten of Swords, <laughs> simply. So, the Ten of Swords, it does displays um, the attempts at all costs, and it may cost you more than you know, and in, uh, in another point of view, it also displays the uh, sense of one, be of one feeling that they have lost everything, all right? And that's not the case. Uh, it, you may kind of experience this emotion, but as I said, the reality is completely different. You are to gain much more than you have lost if you have lost anything. The very least, you have to, to look at the Tower card as a, a way to, um, to transform and to evolve. And evolution and transformation, it, always, it is always accompanied with, um, with pain. Just take on the, uh, the cocoons you know, and uh, everything that evolves, it kind of like it's it 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 evolves uh, as some sort of a uh, as some sort of a pain that one has to uh, experience. So uh, going to the next card, which is the things that you should do in order to speed up your growth, we do have the Sun card. And so the Sun card is one of the most positive cards in Tarot. It basically points that this Tower card, as it comes with uh, unpleasant circumstances and unpleasant symptoms, it also gives you a, a huge amount of expanding energies because the Tower is all about expand. But as I said, you build up your things so strong that there is no more options to expand. So it had to be brought down so you can make it expanding. And the sun gives you those energies to expand. It gives you the energies of growth, all right? But these energies need to be cultivated and conserved until this process of transformation is done. And after the process of transformation is over, which is going to be a rather very quickly, because that is a weekly reading, all right? Imagine if it was a, a monthly reading and you need to have that transformation throughout the entire month. Oh my God, you know. But it is a weekly reading. So my prediction with the Tower card is that it's going to last like a couple of days to half a, new, uh, to, to a half a week and et cetera, et cetera. And the sun advises you throughout that week to take it easy and just to find out what gives you joy of living, all right? So hang out with friends, go to cinemas, go to pubs, you just live through it, you know, drink, sleep through it if you have to. But it's it all comes to that to find um, enterprises and activities which makes you happy, which keeps your mind occupied away from uh, <clears throat> from the uh, this uh, radical shift that it is happening, all right? 
and it also doing so is going to serve another very vital surf, um, the purpose here is going to allow the universe to do its thing because the sun card is all about natural unfoldment you need to trust to those forces of the universe if you believe so and if you are watching this video then probably you believe in the universe you know if not in god in the universe you need to allow the universe to do its job and to uh, make the natural development of your things and of your deeds and after that you can exert those energies of growth those energies of uh, those um, energies of vitality and accomp uh, and accomplish a um, monetary success here happiness into relationships and etc etc but that cannot happen until the tower card this shift turmoiling shift is uh, is over the accompanied card of the sun that is going to be uh, the king of uh, the king of cups and also is going to be uh, very important here to uh, express your emotions basically do not keep it within yourself okay so if you want to cry about it go and cry about it guys just you need to let it all out that will allow you to uh, how can i place it that will allow you to experience life as life is because this is as i said what about the sun card is as well People will see your pain. People will truly feel for you, okay? And uh, I don't know if uh, they will be able to give you, all of them will, will be able to give you a, a support, but this is how you're going to find that person. The next card, which is the final one, the King of Wands. So through the emotional expression here of what is happening around you, but yet you have to be objective, okay? So let's say that you have, you you got fired then express it you know tell it to your friends tell it to your owners tell it to your uh, a wife or a husband okay um show how bad you feel if you are feeling bad it's generally you need to be honest with what you feel and you need to show it in front of the world because what happens out of that is that a someone appears and this someone is going to be the king of wands and who is the king of wands that is a very mature intelligent well respected and very positive person okay they do keep high standards okay but with the same time they do love and they live in joy and through you expressing your how you feel and as well you know um and generally your emotional state this person is going to be touched by it and they will want to help you because what that guy or a girl or, or a woman, excuse me, is going to do for you, uh, cancers, is that they will transform your, uh, your ideas into very, very powerful actions. So it's kind of like someone that ends the turmoil. It's someone that gives... Um, it's someone that makes sense out of everything that is happening around you. And to give you an example of how that, that could manifest, you got fired, you express that, you know, uh, you're feeling bad about it, and uh, you walk in bars and, and so on and so forth. It's just you are allowing everybody to know that uh, you got suspended, okay? And suddenly out of nowhere, this owner of a big company uh, needs someone as you are, someone like you, and they are willing to hire you. So it's very important here to show in front of the world what you are going through because this person comes around and literally saves you from it or kind of like, let's say, um, ends that transformation of a turmoil with a, a successful ending. The accompanied card of it, this is going to be the uh, Ten of Wands. And uh, as I said, that is a person with high standards and with high expectations. And uh, uh, you will have to do a lot as well to prove yourself in front of them. It is just they, they require people to do what they're supposed to. So if they uh, hire you into another job, they will expect a lot from you. But as well, they are very grateful for what they got. So it's simply you will not going to be 
mistreated. And the Ten of, uh, the ten of uh, Wands, it's also a, a card where once trade for power, this person is going to be able to give you the means so you can, uh, so you can become uh, self-realized and, and, and powerful as well. So it's basically they can um, give you the opportunity for you to grow as much as you can. And also the Ten of uh, Wands sometimes, especially with another, uh, with another Wand card, could be interpreted as a, a wonderful opportunity comes around, but is gonna have a, a lot of conditions to be accomplished before that, before that opportunity can actually breed results. And as we said, you know, again, this person requires a lot. It has lot, uh, high standards, but that will be someone that you can make a, a huge partnership, either career or, or relationship one. So if that is someone for a re relationship, they will treat you well, but they will require from you to treat them well as well. If you treat them bad, they will treat you bad. It's kind of like getting what you deserve, all right, from that person who will transform once again your ideas into very, very powerful actions. So that being said, uh, Cancers, this was your weekly tarot reading for February 4th to February 10th, 2018, uh, and 19th, excuse me. Um, I hope that you liked it and you enjoyed it, and I hope that it makes sense for you. And uh, once again, that was your general reading and uh, you have to basically align it to your personal situation. But if you want me to um, analyze your personal situation through tarot cards and to give you prediction for it, uh, that is a subject to a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.